use the source. In this example, I want to demonstrate how to do some uh, graphical things in StatCrunch. So I'm using the same data as the last couple videos where I have the 20, uh, 20 data points of employees at a fast food restaurant in a city. So let's take that and I already have that loaded in StatCrunch. So here we go. Uh, and if I want to do some graphs, you just go to graph and we have all our options here. So for example, I can do a histogram and you need to select, well, I want this data. So I'll select that column. Uh, I have some options here. I'm going to just ignore those for now. And uh, I could just hit compute. And there it is. Looks really nice. I can always go options, edit, go back in here. Maybe I want the values to display above the bar. Uh, and I can add some labels down here. The Y axis would be frequency. Uh, and I can add horizontal lines, vertical lines, etc. Uh, I can even overlay distributions upon my graph if I want to. I'm not going to do that though. There you go. And if I click and drag, that actually resizes this graph. And that's actually helpful because one of the nice options you can do with StatCrunch is if I go to options, I can copy this. And it says right click the image below to copy it. So I can right click, copy image. And now if I go into Microsoft Word, I could paste this into a Word file, um, but it actually won't work because if you noticed, this tip came up, you want to alt Control v to paste it in Word. So now alt Control v and I'm going to do a device independent bitmap, and there it is. And so uh, you notice how I resized my graph. So however I resize that is the size and shape it'll make it when I copy it and paste it in Word. So that's kind of a hintful, uh, useful little hint and tip for you. Okay. Uh, I can also uh, mess with my bins a little. So let's say I want to start at 5 instead of 20 and I want a width of 10 or excuse me, start at 5 instead of 0. I can do that and my graph will uh, work out accordingly. So that's a histogram, but you have all sorts of charts over here and they all pretty much work the same way. Uh, I could do a box plot if I want. Again, you set it up the same way. Select the data column or row depending on what you're doing, but usually we use columns. Uh, and uh, I could uh, do all my labels and all that again. I could add some horizontal and vertical lines. And there's a box plot. Options, edit. Uh, I actually want to draw my box horizontally. So there it is. And again, I can squeeze this down. And I again can copy it. Right click, copy. And then in Word, if I want to paste this into a Word file, it's alt Control v And I'm going to choose Device Independent. And there it is. And so now it's in Word. I can resize it in Word if I wanted to or what have you. And all the, all the graphs work almost the exact same way. Uh, so there's stem and leaf plots, uh, dot plots, all sorts of other plots. Um, but they pretty much all have the same setup, and that's uh, they have the exact same way of trying to copy and paste them into Word.